Whenever I or any of my friends ever need to go get groceries, one of us will text our group chat and ask if we can all go together. We go around to multiple stores and pick up everything that everyone needs and just take our time and window shop and have fun with it. We ask each other about our days and what all's changed in our lives since the last time that we went out. Uh, it's a really fun, heartwarming experience, and if you live near your group of friends, I highly recommend that you try it sometime. And it's nice to go through all the aisles and see all the things that you can't afford. We usually start near like the food section and end up near some toy or electronics aisle. Just picture a local Walmart or Target. And this has been a tradition that we have been carrying out essentially since we had all become friends uh, early in college. And uh, I am the car friend, so I go around and pick everyone up and we pile in and we all head out. And uh, I don't really mind it, it saves on gas money and it's fun to pass the aux cord around and see what everyone likes. But uh, when the lockdown rolled around, I had gone back to getting groceries all by myself for the first time in a very, very long time. Not even my roommate was going with me because we were trying so hard to stay isolated in our rooms. And walking through Walmart, getting bread and cleaning supplies and stuff, I found myself walking by those toy aisles again. And I thought, you know, I feel awful. Isolating has dragged me down to one of the worst mental points I've ever been in. And I made a little extra money from recent commissions. I... I deserve to treat myself. And for the first time since I was a kid, I bought myself a battle pack. When I was little, I loved Lego and Star Wars, so the combination toy line was always one of my favorites. And battle packs were smaller sets full of three or four of the same type of trooper so the kids can build armies of whatever line that they liked. And when I was a kid, I really liked this set and I had a ton of stormtroopers. But now, as an adult, I absolutely love the Clone Wars, so I've been building groups of my favorite armies from the show. And it just so happened that at that time, in circulation was a battle pack of my favorite one. The, the blue one. I like the blue one. After the ride home and putting away my laundry, I finished my homework and I cracked open my box. And for those next 20 minutes, I sat my white ass down, I put on some video essay, and I just tried to relax within the routine of the lockdown. And I don't know, it just brought me a good sense of peace after sinking into that depressing loop of waking up, doing Zoom classes, drawing, and zoning out, and drawing more. And since then, I've collected some sets like the flowers, I've gotten more colors of clones, I'll collect some figures of actors that I like. I even got the, um, uh, but what I'm saying is that it's really fun and you should, you should try it like once. What I want to do here is illustrate how older people nowadays get into things like this. I see people of all ages buying Squishmallows now, we got movies all about lines of toys. I see slime videos everywhere, I think those are toys. Apparently, the dollar statistic for adult collectors of toys went from $1.7 billion in 2021 to $6.4 billion in 2023. This is an exponential jump that was probably brought about by the lingering feelings of the pandemic and being stuck inside and, you know, people just super bored and needing to find some way to keep themselves entertained. In my case, uh, I spent the lockdown going from 19 to 20, which is supposed to, you know, be a big milestone for a human. You know, you can't call yourself a teenager anymore. You're supposed to officially be an adult. But uh, in that moment, sitting there in the same room over and over and over again, day in and day out, doing the same stuff, it was impossible to really feel any change in my life. And since then, I've met other people who have similar hobbies for things that they love, and it always makes for great conversation asking, oh, how did you get into this kind of thing and why? Like, I know multiple people who have been into and gotten back into doll collecting after the success of the Barbie movie. One of my best friends in the world is really into tokusatsu stuff and collects things like figures and mechs and gears and all this other crazy stuff. Seriously, this has been a very fun topic to research. Did you know that the statistic of adults buying toys makes up 25% of their sales now? I'm gonna take this opportunity to gush about LEGO now. In about 2017, 18-ish, LEGO realized they had a large market of older fans that perhaps stuck around since their boom in the early thousands, or perhaps just liked the style of their models and wanted cute little figures. That's me. I, I like the cute little figures. A couple of my favorites are Shadow, Spider-Man, and Robert Pattinson. And I learned that LEGO has been making stuff targeted at their older fans for a while now. There's the Ultimate Collector Series line for Star Wars, which are always huge and have triple-digit price tags. I'm sure you've all seen the LEGO architecture sets in like your local Barnes and Nobles. Uh... But in 2021, they decided to blow this market wide the fuck open. And the one that I personally think had the greatest impact was this. Now, I personally know three or four couples where one of them has gifted the other the Lego bonsai. And this thing is cool. Like, I know this is a PNG, but I have this bad boy in real life. There's a Lego store in my local mall, and I think every time I walk by, I see a couple walking out with one of these. It's insanely good value for your dollar, and it has an alternate build. Like, that shit never happens. Next to the bonsai, I would say my favorite recent line is the Lego flowers. 
This line was pioneered by a then apprentice at the Lego company named Astrid Christensen, who would often make Lego flower bouquets at her friend's requests. After making so many examples, people all across the Lego company saw her work and began asking for their own, which led to her becoming an official Lego flower expert and creating the official line. I believe her first official set was this first flower bouquet. And again, I know a lot of people who have given these to partners as gifts. You may think it looks corny, but a lot of people appreciate the sentiment that they sit there and they look nice and like they never wilt. Even my mom likes these things. They make very good gifts to bring people together. Uh, in fact, there was this one Christmas where we had a, a rough time at the larger family gathering. Uh, maybe you know how it goes. And me and my dad and everyone else got back inside and uh, we were just sulking for a little bit, sitting in the living room with all the Christmas decorations. And uh, that year, we had all received from each other some Lego sets, like some flowers and some other kinds, like all the kids and the adults did. So to make ourselves feel better, we put on a Christmas movie, we cracked open a couple drinks, and uh, we just talked and we built them. And uh, it was such a good time that my dad said that he wanted to turn it into a new Christmas tradition. It's, uh, it's a really good memory from a, from a recent holiday. Anyways, uh, I really love all of the ingenuity and creativity that goes into the production of the larger display sets. Designers are typically given a price point and a time frame and just go ham on making cute little models. I think that's the best way that I can describe how I feel about this stuff. It's just so cute to me. There's the aforementioned UCS line for Star Wars, there's cool Batman stuff, uh, the Mario question block, and look, they even populate the web pages with pictures of them looking nice on, like, modern studio apartment entertainment centers. Oh my god, that one's Sesame Street, check that shit out. Oh my god, I forgot about the LEGO Ideas sets. The LEGO Ideas line is this really fun concept that gets the people involved in the creation of the sets. If there's an idea that you want to see be made into an official set on store shelves using licensed media or otherwise, you can make a mock-up of your own and post it on the official website. Every set goes through a sort of popularity vote, and as long as it's within a certain size and gets enough attention within a 60-day period, it moves on to the next stage of the popularity poll over and over again until possibly reaching enough support to become an official set. It almost always produces the coolest sets of the year, and even if your idea is within a property that they don't have license, as long as it's popular enough, they will reach out and attempt to get the rights to do so. Like, look, they just made this new set based off of Dune. Isn't this the coolest shit in the world? And if you're not a LEGO fan, me and my other friends are into a lot of other kinds of figures as well. I know Nenderoids are really popular because of their compact nature and their ubiquitous art style. I have a couple Metal Gear ones. I'm also a really big fan of Fig Arts or Fig U Arts. Fig Arts? I much greatly prefer figures that you can pose, and I think that they have a really good price to quality ratio if you don't want to spend a ton of money. I'm not a big Gundam guy, but I know that Gunpla is really popular. I'm sorry, I have no idea what the fuck that I'm talking about. I bought Pokemon cards all the time when I was a kid, and I had gotten back into it relatively recently, but now I just kind of buy the ones that I like straight off of eBay. It's cool to have a couple with a really nice art on my desk to glance at whenever I'm doing video stuff. Every once in a while, I'll see a post go around trying to give an explanation for the rise of adults buying toys. And I think that the real reasoning goes far deeper than I'm qualified to explain, but the long and short of it is, uh, we only have so much money. This is especially targeted at the Zoomers who were raised in this era of a giant rise in nerd culture. A lot of us are just now leaving college and becoming what is technically described as an adult. But the job markets are shit, the wages are shit, and the job environments are shit, and a lot of people are coming to the realization that a degree doesn't carry you nearly as far as it used to. We certainly can't afford to buy a house, so what would you rather do? Scrape up enough money to try and raise a child, or buy a figure of an anime girl. It's it's this. I wanna I wanna buy the girl figure. I know I went on about Lego for a while, but it's far from the only item that has gained this kind of recent popularity. I see slime videos everywhere, there's tons of toy review channels aimed at a variety of age groups. I'm even friends with multiple people that do Lego building streams, and it's really fun. And I think that's the point in this, is that even as people get older, we still find things like this fun. For a lot of people, like my parents, maybe this started as trying to keep yourself entertained over the two-week lockdown, and then it spirals into spending multiple hundred dollars on board games after staying inside for six months. Or other people, maybe you're picking up an interest that you had as a kid, and you're trying to recapture some of the happiness that it brought you. And, and not all this said, I don't want to sound like some consumerist weirdo, I've definitely fallen out of the statistic of people that still do this. But keeping a dedicated list of the things that inspire you or make you happy is a really good way to maintain that inspiration. Whether you write that list down or you keep it in figures that line your desk. Sorry that this one was a little bit all over the place. This is something that I had an idea for for a while. Uh, if you would like more of my content, my previous few videos are of a similar format, and production of my next one is already underway. Special thanks to these people for subscribing to my Patreon, and special thanks to my drawing tier patrons over here. 
If you want to see me create these videos live or funny video game streams, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Odds are I am live right now. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed watching. It really helps me grow. Um, get a good meal, call your mom, and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.